from the Art Organizing Committee of the Brockville and Area Music and Performing Arts Hall of Fame. I'm talking with Judy Quick as well as Chris Koye. They're going to tell us about the inductees for this year as well as some other things. So uh, welcome to both of you. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yeah. They are both Hall of Famers. We are. Mm -hmm. You were 2006, I believe, yeah, first and class. you were 2009, correct? That's right. So congratulations to you, too, and let's dive right into this now. Okay. When is this happening? It is on Thursday, March 21st at the Brockville Arts Centre. The red carpet begins at 6.30, and the actual induction ceremony begins at 7. So people should arrive at... Well, I would say it's kind of fun to arrive and watch the people come down the red carpet. So anywhere between 6.30, 6.45, and then they can get in and get a nice, nice seat of their choosing and sure. watch the ceremony. It's well, going to be great. Now, is there a charge for this? There is no charge. No charge whatsoever. So it's, it's the, free. the best Just deal in on. town. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So tell us what the categories, what are the categories for this uh, particular event? Uh, well, this year there are four um candidates who have been chosen to be inductees. Yes. We've got uh, Gordon McCready Sr., mm -hmm. who is a musician. Uh, we have Mub Jenkins, who is a performer. We have Peter Dunn, who is a behind the scenes category. Yes. And we have the Western All-Stars, which is from our band category. Okay, sounds nice. Mm -hmm. We also have four posthumous, and I'll let Judy speak to those. Please. Uh, John Demeray, Traves Heppelston, Richard Humble, and Gettys Long and the Longfellows. Isn't that nice? I like that selection. You people have done very, very well. Well, thank you. I'll pass that on to the committee. <laughs> yeah. Please do. Please do. So when, when you received yours in 2006 and you people were, were uh, or the individual, the presenter, was talking about you and then gave you your... Yes. Little, okay. What did you feel? What what was going through your mind? I felt time? humbled. Did you really? I did. I did. Um, yeah. It was hard to believe that people thought that highly of me that I would get that. Well, because awesome. it was my job and I loved it, but nothing to get accolades for. Okay. So, yeah, it was special. Chris, what was it like when you were standing there? Uh, well, again, very special. I mean, I feel like I come from a, an incredible community that gave me so much in terms of my musical training. In fact, this one right here is responsible for so much of what I was able to achieve later in my life. And again, it's just something you do out of love. Uh, I think I was I was inducted under the uh, professional category because I went away and did that for a career. Yes. Um, but it but it was very lovely to be recognized by the community. It was it was um, certainly an overwhelming emotional experience for sure but again it was just something that i love to do and then i was back here in the community giving back to the community that gave me so much so mm -hmm. yeah uh, well said from both of you what is it like to be on the committee and <laughs> hard i know i know <laughs> but what is it like to be on the committee and um do people nominate? Do they come up to you and say, have you thought about so-and-so for next year or whatever? Like, how, where do these names come from? There are nomination forms. So there that are people get, they nominate. fill them out and send them in. Absolutely. Okay, so you gather all those and go through them and then try and slot them into a category? Or right. or the nominator will have already, already done it. Them. Selected yeah. the category. Okay. Yeah. All right. And okay. then we have to go through all of those, and the committee then more or less ranks ranks them. Yes. And uh, we choose three mm -hmm. uh, from each category, and then we send that out to all of the uh, former inductees to vote and choose, uh, choose their... So it's yeah. the former inductees that are the individuals that chose. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's a great idea. I like that. So along with, and, and uh, we are going to hear from all of these people except the ones that you had mentioned. Um, well, I guess. Uh, you have a silent auction, do you not? We do have a silent auction. And I have to say, Doreen, our community has been so forthcoming in their generosity. Yep, yeah, incredible. Aww. Tickets yep. to shows at the Art Center, tickets to shows at the Thousand Islands Playhouse. We have restaurant gift certificates. We have some artists in the community that have made things specifically yes. for us. It's been great. 
isn't that nice? So really, don't be don't come down at like six thirty. Come at oh, six o'clock so you can look check us out over. that silent auction. Yeah. Plus, uh-huh. very specially this year, Chris has created a Facebook page which already lists the silent auction, and people are bidding. Are they? So yeah. you can go on and bid right on the page. Yeah, you can bid in advance, and then on the day of the ceremony, yeah. we will transfer those high bids over to the bid sheets, and then people can continue to bid at the actual ceremony. Yeah. So you will close that off, the, the yeah. online bidding. Yeah. And then... And we'll move whoever yes. had the high bid over to the bid sheet, and that's where it'll start at the art Center. Okay, so, okay. I mean, we had found that in previous years, by just doing it at the art Center, there were so many people that wanted to uh, contribute and wanted to bid on the items and who weren't able to get there that evening. So this, we tried this this year, and yep. I think it's been a big success. Good, good. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yes, definitely. Well, and it's, it's nice, too, to promote the groups that have been so generous mm-hmm. because, you know, their names are out there. Like, we have the Noshery, the Buell Street Bistro. We've got Boo Booster Juice, we've got Kelsey's, we've got Richard's Coffee House, we've got, uh, you know, um, chocolates from Culinary Creations, the Red George, Luna Pizzeria, it goes on and on and on. It's incredible. Did you chocolates? Yes. Yeah. Chocolates? What is that whoops? <laughs> You'll have to come and check yeah. it out. I'll have Actually. to come and, and overbid whoever is bid on it. Yes. Yeah. Actually, though, as I'm looking at this list, uh, yeah, I think this is not the list that is this year's list. But that's okay. That's all right. So, but there are wonderful, wonderful items for sure. There's Moose McGuire's. There's yes. Luna Pizzeria. Okay. The, yeah. And and, and we the, didn't want to break it to yeah. you. There are no chocolates. Yeah. There's <laughs> actually there's no chocolates. The list the list that you've given me. I'm thinking, Judy, did we have yeah. chocolates this year? So. Yeah, but no, it, I mean, there's incredible shows. Oh, there, yes. Brockville Arts yes. Center, Thousand yes. Islands Playhouse, Shakespeare Festival, um, St. Lawrence College Music Theater. Right. And yes. Uh, you know, but no, there's, and, and then wonderful, wonderful uh, contributions by From. local restaurants. And okay. yeah, yeah. Well, thank you ever so much for coming in. Is there anything else before we close off? Lots of great musical entertainment that night. So yep. even if you don't know personally any of the inductees, <laughs> come and enjoy the music that they have you know, we have provided for them. There'll be a live seven-piece band uh, that will be playing throughout the entire ceremony. The college, first-year college students will be performing. And there will be, with everyone that's being inducted, there is somebody that will be performing a number before that induction takes place. So, nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.